Well guys, this video is an attitude video. Get up on this ladder. So today's video guys, for my toy hauler attitude fans out there, if you guys got an attitude or iconic or uh, stellar, any uh, of these, what am I, was I just showing you guys the ground? I'm trying to not smash this thing. Um, but any of you guys that got the attitude, iconic, stellar, whatever it is, this thing right here, as you guys know, Look at these lights. That looks like crap. It's not even straight. They got in like that stupid plastic piece and we turn it all, it's like woo woo woo. So what I'm doing today is I'm ripping the whole thing off. I'm going to get rid of the plastic piece because I've tried to contact Attitude about the plastic piece. Uh, they're just so damn ridiculous. I mean, I just, man, I can, it's just incredible how Attitude's customer service, they just suck so bad. By the way, it's been three days, and I've called them three days in a row, and they keep saying, oh, we're gonna call you back, we're gonna call you back. Uh, today's day four, so I've given up. So I'm gonna do it myself as usual. So what I was thinking is, I was going to tape this, double side tape it, either here, or I was gonna do it right here, just like this. I don't know, the problem with this is this sort of shoots out here it will, if I tape it here, or at least right here, I don't know, might give me some angles. I'm gonna find out and see. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just get rid of this plastic strip. So what this strip, how it's supposed to be, and is the reason why I'm thinking, you know, putting it here so it shoots down, is because that's what this does. It shoots, so this thing, the strip sits in here, and when the strip is proper, it sits and all this is just shoot down. So if I put it here, you know, pointing out, we might get more, light output out here but i'm not sure i'm gonna continue pulling this thing off and then i'll let you guys know what happens from there okay what i've decided to do is i took it all off but we're going to stick it i'm going to stick it right on the white part of the awning see that right there just right along that strip and reason why i chose that and i mean there's a couple pros and cons if you you know need a new awning oh don't forget to take that off uh that can rip you know but for me, I figured I'm gonna do it there shooting down because I got these two lights there and there. I got this light bar, so I have plenty and tons of light shooting out. I'd rather have this one shooting straight down so I can sort of flood you know, this area, especially because I barbecue right there when I hook up the barbecue into that propane fitting. That's where I'm barbecuing. So, you know, I would like some light shooting more down. Obviously, yes, the awning has to come out. Um, that's how this light works. You know, it doesn't have to come all the way out, but just out a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to use uh, some cold cleaner and a towel, and I'm gonna just clean the back of this. Do not get carb cleaner on the front. Could start fading it, dulling it. So just do the back, and then I'm gonna carb clean this whole thing, make sure that's all clean. And then I'm gonna use just some 3M, oh, right here, my 3M double-sided sticky tape, and we're gonna stick it on and just do it ourselves because, well, uh, trying to get this part from Attitude is a nightmare. Okay guys, before starting this job, go buy a lot of double-sided tape. This is my third roll that I'm on, and I'm almost done here, uh, but also, this is a good sign right here. Uh, if you just let this thing sit here and hang, and it doesn't go and fall right off, that means it's sticking good to this. So, uh, so far so good. We just got that part right up there that we're gonna stick it on. That's gonna be the hard part, making sure it's nice, straight. Uh, then we'll see what it looks like. We gotta clean that up really good, and then uh, we'll see what it does, how it uh, sticks. Hopefully it works good. All right, the whole roll is finally done, guys. But what I'm gonna do, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna just put little dots of Gorilla Glue, like you know, a little, little dot, dot there, maybe like a dot there, just because I worry about any sand or anything getting in this. I, I just, I don't know how good this is gonna hold up who knows it might not even last might not hold up at all but yeah well trial and error so we'll see what happens well there you have it guys i know it's probably going to be hard to see i kind of like it better like this on a white background because you can't even see it so if you do have any flaws or you guys i mean obviously there's no way in heck this thing is perfectly straight but because it's on a white background you can barely tell like you can't even see you literally have to like squint to look at it and the majority of the time this thing's out nobody's going to see it and when this thing is open the lights are on well you well you actually you know i don't know if you could tell let's uh let's turn the lights on do a little test fit and see uh see how this thing looks bam there you go look at that 
that is much much better it's not all sitting there squiggly and doing this and what the my goodness look at that guys now that's what i'm talking about now i put it a little more this way so you can see i left a little more room you know right there see that because well i mean this light's going to shine here and mainly like i said in the beginning of the video we're barbecuing we're mainly doing everything here sitting right here so I want to get the most amount of light I can here. So that's why I like, I pushed a little more to the side. We got that light, we got this bar, we got the strip. That looks 10 times better now, my goodness. I never wanted to turn this thing on, it was so embarrassing. So that's, I like it, I'm very happy with it guys. And it's nice when this thing closes, now because it's protected. Now, you know what the next thing we're doing? Let me show you the next project here. Let me turn these on. We're going to check it out. Bam! So you can see these lights, these underglows. These are awesome. I love these underglow lights, right? Check it out. Look at that. Right, right there, right? It's awesome. But here's the problem. They stop right there. So it goes right from here, and then it goes throughout the whole back. Well, why wouldn't you take it all the way? You know, finish the toy hauler. Why did you half, you know, what I want to say, half, you know, the job, as, you know, attitude usually does. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually extend it. So we're going to, let's get under here, let's see here. And, oh wow, that's a nice tape job they did there. That's great. Okay, so first we're going to take this off and put some better tape on. I don't know what, what that is, what they call that. And we're going to find the wires, which is going to be easy. Right here. There it is. And we're going to pull these apart right here and we're gonna connect uh, another strip to it. And I've already purchased the other strip. Uh, you guys can get it, I'll put the link down in the description. I just got it from Amazon. There we go, just got it from Amazon. And I will put the link down in the description for you guys. And we'll turn them off and let's start wiring. Okay guys, we have ran out of 3M tape. Again, I officially went through all four rolls. Uh, so now we got to go head to our local Napa store and, uh, well, go get some tape. Okay, we're back. We got some more super glue. We got two different sizes of tape. We got the thick stuff and the thick stuff and the skinny stuff right there. So we're going to go through the skinny stuff first. We'll take this. I got a bottle in my pocket and we'll go head back out there and get the install going. Well, guys, underglow is done, but you see the little situation. Got a little color difference there. So... I'd rather keep these because these are much brighter and I like the pure white. I don't like this blue. So I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just take out that blue, get rid of it because I'm going to do LEDs around the whole entire toy hauler. Actually, let's see what happens when we turn these on. If it washes some of the color out, mm, probably not. I don't, I don't think so. Let's see. Awning light. Wow, look at that. It's a nice bar. So looks like um man not really you can still see sort of like the the blue see under it it's sort of it washed out let me back it washed it out a little bit but you can still you can still kind of uh you can still kind of see it if we walk along right here see the color change yeah so if you look in there so we'll change them out but this washed out this and then once we turn you know these on and the light bar on well there's going to be tons of light out here but at least we got the whole thing lit up under now and not just you know where it stops right in the middle i mean i would understand if they took it you know right here to the whole step but they stop it boom right here right in the middle so we'll change out they'll put some brighter lights who knows we'll play with it some more so check this out guys i have closed the awning all the way you can see it's blocking the light and this light is facing down. So I just thought it would be pretty cool to check this out to see, you know, how much light actually output this thing would do. And when I open the awning, look at this. So see, we got to start in there. Look at that. That's going to push it. Look at that. So it pushes that a lot. So that's a lot of light, you know, just for having the awning out this much and with this light facing down. So it did push it out a lot and give us uh, a lot of extra light. So that's good, because I really like to use this light. And then with all of them on, check it out guys, here. Oh, open that up a little bit for you there. Then we'll flip those on, bam. We'll flip 
these where's the other ones well it's the backlight bam and that bar look at that now that's some light huh what do you think i love it you like it good all right well we are ready for this weekend no, we are ready for foosball. Oh, foosball? You want to play some foosball? All right, guys, we're going to go play some foosball. So there you have it, guys. That's a little um, update uh, and a little, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to call it modification, but a little fix to the awning light that comes all jacked up. A lot of you guys, when I posted my Instagram story, go follow me at Eddie's Life. Um, you saw and a lot of you said all of yours are doing that. I could probably see that, how that's common. But now, also, guys, do not forget. So we're going to... Um, start well we already started it but i'm gonna start i finally got everything to do the eddie's product review channel so if you guys have not uh followed it and subscribed yet go subscribe to eddie's product review and i'm gonna be reviewing tons of electrical stuff for you voltmeters batteries uh solar powered generators you know seeing how long they can last amp hours all that stuff so make sure you go give the eddie's product review channel a uh, subscribe and you're gonna be able to see all this stuff because this is going to come up here uh, in a couple days that's all i got for you guys so if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button if you guys got any ideas too for lights or how to fix that problem you know i know they said oh that black piece just slides right out it doesn't you know i was breaking uh chunks off so it was not sliding it was a nightmare i tried pliers i tried both sides i tried uh, like a flathead screwdriver trying to pry it out uh none of it works so i didn't want to jack it up too bad so that's why I stopped playing with it and messing with it. So if you guys are gonna change it, I would highly suggest just pull the LED strip out of that, leave that little black plastic molding there. If you can, take it out. For me, it did not uh, go as planned, so I just left it there and kind of ripped out as much as I could. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.